The Monerotopia guest segment is sponsored by Cake Wallet. Store, send, receive, and exchange your Monero and Bitcoin safely on iOS and Android too. Cake Wallet is open source, and you always control your own keys. Okay, we we went from Havino to talking about Darrow with the one and only Tech Leaks. Who? Sorry, man. I, I, it's hard for me to say any good words, but who who completely, utterly embarrassed himself on Twitter this week, uh, placing a bet with Luke that Luke couldn't deanimize his transaction when Luke said he had found a way to do such, and and he did. Tech no, leaks that no, ref- no he then then refused to pay make the payment that he owed of the 10k Dara, and things just got worse, much worse from there. Uh, Tech leaks calling everybody a Monero a scammer, ironically. Um, so Tech leaks giving you the stage, but obviously you know we're, we're not going to hold punches here. Uh, we think your behavior is completely assholeic. So you got the stage. Go ahead and and let us know what happened from your perspective. Yeah, I I um, basically think the same of uh, Luke Parker. You know, maybe not you guys because I understand he has a following in Monero and he's some sort of false prophet here. But uh, there is a thing called responsible disclosure, which honestly I don't even care that much about because I think in the hardening of the protocol. So if an uh, if a vulnerability is there, I mean, if uh, go and hit it and. Uh, developers should have taken care of it like you know I, I believe in the darwinian selection of protocols but what luke did was worse like luke not only didn't opt for responsible disclosure okay what luke did was a proper attack on darrow and its users he tried to sow panic because luke exaggerated the vulnerability and you can see this in uh, my exchange with him because he cannot even de-anonymize my transaction. He cannot. He only finds the amount in the transaction. But to de-anonymize a transaction, you need to find at least the amount, the sender, and the receiver. And then you can, if you can do this for all transactions, then you could, you know, claim that you could de-anonymize the whole network. But Liu cannot do this even for a single transaction. He cannot de-anonymize a single transaction. He did, though, de-anonymize the amount of the transaction, which was impressive. I liked that. I truly liked that. I congratulated him because I did not expect him to. So find why out. why didn't you pay him the the ten k darrow that you said because you would the, pay him? Because first of all, uh, he did not he did not opt for responsible disclosure disclosure and second he did not de-anonymize the transaction i mean there seems to be confusion well, he, here about there was, there was no agreement that you, he, he, you 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 said luke show me that you could do it and i'll give you 10k dara he right. showed you and then right. you created this whole fabricated story of uh, reasoning no. as to why you shouldn't pay him no i mean I just didn't. just stop for that this is this is the first issue you're just a bad actor you're a well, fucking asshole. If you, read, if you read my tweet, that's not what I said. And you are an asshole who cannot read. Because in my tweet, I said, you have to de-anonymize my transaction. I did not say that you have to find the amount in the transaction. If you go look at the tweet, where, which is pinned here on top of my timeline, I say, I repeat, I will give Palantir sponsor Slimeball, Kayaba Nerve, 10,000. Why is he a slime ball? Why is he a slime ball? I just explained What are you talking you. about? Why you like exaggerated the vulnerability? He exaggerated. I mean, Monero had the big bang attack, right? Where he did you a favor. He did you a favor by contributing to your project and showing your flaw. You didn't have to do that. Bang attack where inputs were exposed. How did those researchers behave? You're changing the topic. What are you talking about, man? No, he he exaggerated the vulnerability and he did not. I can't imagine anybody in Darrow supports you in any way. You, You look like a complete fool and you you've really harmed your own project I because nobody's to facts on you're just de- you're destroying the culture in your project you can't, you can't you can't read because it's written right there de-anonymize a transaction which means you must find the amount the center the receiver to de-anonymize a transaction he didn't do that and not only that but he did not offer a responsible i had every right as a darrow holder to social engineer luke yes. so you're saying you're admitting that you you I manipulated and you and you, and you tricked, an potentially tricked person. some sort of 
exactly. you're admitting you're fraud. You're admitting that you're, you're a fraud. Biographer. No, sorry. This is on Luke, not on me, because he pretends to be a researcher, but compares and then with that of research. Pretends to be a researcher? Luke, Luke is one of them. It's ridiculous, you guys. You are defending him. You are all looking like a bunch of cultists. Like, what is he? Like, we look like cultists. He, he, yes. He's doing math and cryptography, and we agree with the work that he's, he's doing. He's an idiot who, cannot, who doesn't know what responsible disclosure is. And not only that, he exaggerated the attack for because the vulnerability, because he wanted to attack there, which shows his true colors. Sorry, and, and you think this is okay? And you are there sitting with your gray hair and telling me this is okay. Sorry, but. Oh, my gray hair. Like. <laughs> This is shameless. I, I, Gray hair is the crown of the We're old. We're shameless. The, the Who agent. are you, man? I gotta ask. Let, wait, let's let's take a step back you, a little bit. How, how did not... tech tech leaks tech leaks? Yeah. This is my show. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm I'm letting you come on it here. Doesn't mean right, that you can for I, entertainment. You know, doesn't mean that I have, don't have the right to self defense. If you are going, to you have the right to self defense. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you, know? you a question. Okay. Tell tell us your story. How did you how did you get into crypto? How did you become uh, a Darrow cultist? Like I, I just don't even understand you as a character. How did this happen to you? I mean, I don't know. It's all in my answers. I told you I care about right and wrong. I care about responsible disclosure. In this case, it I'm asking you, how did you get into Darrow? Why Darrow? What like what happened to you? Because how Darrow, did this happen? <laughs> because Darrow is the only L1 to use homomorphic encryption, and it's somehow did this okay. happen? I mean, I could ask the same too. How did it happen that you ended up in Monero? I, mean, I explain it all the time. I explain, I explain it, and it makes fun. Well, tell me, th if there's you logic want, there. How did it happen? What's what's your? I mean, what's the tech that drives you, like in, enthuses you about Monero? What what aspect of the technology? It's slow. Do you know? Do you know anything about Monero? Do you know how yes. it works? Yes. Do you ever use? Yes. Okay. It's slow so, as so hell. I, I know that. Have... That's why I stopped using it. It has no smart contracts. Okay, buddy. I don't know, buddy. You want to chime in here? I don't know where. I don't know where we should take this. I mean, I guess. I guess the the ultimately is. Are, are you gonna Are you gonna apologize to Luke? Are you gonna pay the ten k, Darrow? Is Is he going to apologize for not opting for responsible disclosure and for doing a hype full disclosure attack? Does, does anybody, are, want those to, are want, anybody want to respond to that? Does anybody want those to respond are, to his his allegation? Well, okay, can we go back to the Luke first was... like question of like what Luke Parker actually did? He, from what I remember seeing, I don't have the tweet pulled up immediately. He he actually showed the amount and then the internal memo. Um, I don't not remember if he receiver. showed. Not sender and receiver. He didn't. He didn't break the transaction, and yet he okay. Contacted me to so let's. But let's let's take this in a stepwise fashion. There's the sender and receiver as, as part of de-anonymization, but there's also amounts and any peripheral data associated with right. that. Like and that's um, called partial like, like de-anonymization. That's not de-anonymization. Okay, so he's okay, okay. So if so, you you would agree that he did a partial de-anonymization. I that agree correct? with that. Well, that's not the okay. Deal, so don't you think I, that I that would maybe in good the faith, bro? Don't you think that would maybe in good faith merit? some kind of partial payment to him and just to say hey i'm trying to act in good faith here for Did the he record i'm only going to pay who you is half. Acting, who is acting like, in good you, faith in this interaction so why do i have to be the guy that is is acting good faith with an asshole he's he's do he i grab, he exaggerated the vulnerability and then he called it from partial de-anonymization of certain transactions he went on and published an article that is titled de-anonymization of the Darrow network like you have to be a complete asshole to do that and you Bro, guys, it comes to money, I owe him an apology. How? Maybe you have a read different his article. Take. Read his Maybe article. Have a take. No, read his article. Maybe. Does it say partial anonymization of Darrow transactions? Like the big bank attack on Monero was a partial anonymization of Monero transactions. It was disclosed responsibly. It was patched. What the hell did this asshole do? Like he did a, a reputation attack on Darrow, and you are telling me that I had to give him ten thousand Darrows. For partially well, anonymizing uh, my well, transactions. Well, what he specifically he said is that he, was for he can only. He can you only de-anonymize the sender if it has the patch, if the wallet has the patch from six I months ago. I don't care. I gave him the transaction. It wasn't from any, I don't know what patch this is. Maybe he inserted this patch. Maybe his friend, Slixa, the other guy, maybe, I don't know. I gave him a transaction and he couldn't de-anonymize it. I mean, why should I give him 10,000 deros? He could not de-anonymize the transaction. He found the amount, which was cool. I congratulated him for and that. The message, and he started and the message. to act trolly. And then, uh, sorry, I'm going to take him seriously. I mean, how can you take him seriously? Okay, listen, man. I don't know what what your like. I don't know what your personality is, but personally, for me, even if like I want to maintain, generally speaking, above the fray. Like I, I uh, and yeah, I talk a lot of shit on Twitter sometimes, but 
in terms of like, especially in a bet, in a gentleman's bet, when money is involved, even if the other person is an asshole, I don't care. I want to walk away from it saying, you know what? I've met whatever obligation anyone could have put onto me. I've met that. And then some, if, if I was in your position, I would say, you know what, man, you did. Okay. I, I would come in a non-angry fashion. I would come and say, all right, listen, you didn't reveal the sender and the recipient, but you did reveal another half of that. You've half de-anonymized this transaction. At best, you've half halfway met this bet. I would just say, you know what? Here's here's 5,000 Darrow. That's fine. Like, I still think that, you know, I would just put that out there and you would like, by appearances, you would look a lot better just by doing that. Now you do what you want, right? But I just personally think yeah, that that's like, a better I way like of approaching like of approaching I gentlemen's I, bets is trying to give yeah, people credit for what they right, what, where I, credit I'm is due. Going gentleman doesn't mean to let scammers take advantage of me. You know, if you but, know what okay, I mean. How is he a scammer? As, as a not, gentleman, you, you, no. you have no credibility when you call okay, Luke Parker a scammer. These, okay, but these dynamics, if you don't let me talk, then it distorts. You have no credibility when you call Luke Parker a scammer. What else would you call someone who conducts a full disclosure attack? What what else would you call him when he's working on a competing chain, inferior chain, because Monero is cool, but it doesn't use full homomorphic encryption? Well, Monero had the big bang attack. Look it up on Google. It exposed the inputs of transactions. Were, were you in any other crypto? Were you once in Monero or you were always in Dero? Yes, how, how did I you was in Monero? It was extremely slow. No, no smart contracts. The community kept dumping down. So I said, I mean, I couldn't get people, people couldn't get me. So I finally found a coin that is usable, has smart contracts, has full homomorphic encryption. And back we are now, these people in Monero, which I have always respected in one way or another, unless they attack me. And when I am attacked, I, I have to defend myself. But you we, know? we see so, you attacking everybody, man. Like, don't, don't, don't act oh, like a victim here, man. You're the oh, one You're the one who oh, stole oh, from man. somebody else and you're acting like a victim. Like just, I mean, you, you just, just admitted that you did not just, my, my transaction. You're doing you're a really poor... You're doing a really poor job as being the 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 purveyor of Darrow. You're doing a really bad job at it because people see that's, you, that's the they yeah, see my, the way you act, and they want they want no part of your project because of the culture that you're you're, that you're spewing. It's not my project. It's not my project. You associate yourself with it. Then no, when I, I see you, I see I, Darrow. So I, I would I would recommend myself. people in Darrow Luke. to try to you Luke. know separate you from the community because you're doing Luke's, a really Luke's bad job. Coming. Luke, I caught Luke. All right. There's another thing that I would that I would bring up. And again, since since I'm not a cryptographer, one thing that I use for judging projects is are they adhering to best practices? Darrow included bulletproofs that was being pioneered by Monero. They included bulletproofs before the math audit was done, like a few months before the math audit was done. That's a terrible practice. And to me, that would be, you know, again, looking from the outside, not being a, a hardcore coder, not being a hardcore cryptographer by any, or any a cryptographer at all. <laughs> um, I look at that and I say, that that's a terrible practice. What are the shortcuts are they taking? What Sorry, are the weaknesses can you elaborate are, are a bit in the better? chain? What is the terrible practice here? Sorry, I missed the. I said um, bulletproofs yeah. years ago when Monero was pioneering bulletproofs. We were waiting for the map. Pioneering. On it. Yeah, okay. like it was a Monero guy that. Um, I think it was Celsta. Was it Celsta or was it? Um... Well, anyways, we were waiting for the math audit on bulletproofs, right? From range right. proofs to bulletproofs, which and how reduced did the, the transaction audit come size. Out? And how did that audit come out with a bug? And how were Deros, uh, Deros bulletproofs come out? Did they have the bug or not? And they were released before Monero's bulletproof. So how, what does it tell you about Deros devs? What I'm, that's not, that's not a proper response. We were waiting on a, on a third party math audit to be finished. Right, because we're waiting on that third-party mail audit. Maybe, audit to I be mean, maybe because you are incompetent. But because Dero, Dero's bulletproof didn't have your bug. So what exactly are we trying to shame Dero devs for? Tell me. They didn't have the bug. You had the bug. So what's the problem here? Because they shamed you. Because they exposed how incompetent your developers are. That you had to pay for third-party developers to find your bug. Dude, and they didn't have listen, it. Listen, man. So you sound very angry. Something? Like I'm really just trying to no, have a conversation I'm not angry. with you here. I'm but not angry. Just you're well, here. Why is, uh, why is the third-party audit a bad thing, though? Yeah. A third party audit's a good thing. Like, why wouldn't you want to have a third party audit? Even if you guys think you're like, you know, the best developers like in the world and you could never make a mistake. A, like... a bounty is better than a third party audit because third party audits, auditors can be bribed. I mean, there is no guarantee of uh, anything. 
in Daryl's case, you never had any critical bugs. Even the bulletproof uh, double counting buff, bug that uh, Monero had, Daryl didn't have it. It was the only crypto node implementation that didn't have it. I mean, this is a matter of fact now. We can yeah, dance yes. around it and deny it and we can talk about for months like you didn't hire an auditor, but who cares? It's like, who cares? Okay, I, I can respond to that. Will you let me respond to that or not? Or are you going to interrupt me and start yelling at me again? Okay. So the I'm sure you're, you know what best practices are. You sound like someone that's, that's pretty intelligent, that knows how to code, that knows how to review this stuff. So there's something called best practices. And especially when you're at the beginning of the creation of a, train, a chain like Darrow in the first couple of years, and you're integrating some new kind of crypto, right? You're rolling your own crypto, and that's an extremely difficult thing to do. So you have to take very, very careful steps. So waiting for the math audit is important because, yes, your bulletproofs do share some aspects with Monero bulletproofs. It's not a completely unique um, implementation, meaning that if there is some kind of bug, if there is some kind of problem, yes, it's very possible that a third-party audit is going to reveal that, and it might affect your chain. You just don't know until that's done. So why wouldn't they wait? Why wouldn't Darrow wait the two months or three months necessary till that math audit is complete before integrating a new crypto protocol into a production running chain? That's that's not best practices. And sure, you can say in this case, nothing bad happened, but that's really besides the point because the question for, in my mind is about best practices. Yes. Can I answer? Yeah, so go ahead. I, I think uh, the best practice is to first of all have a competent team you know and uh, Daryl had this obviously now we don't know who Daryl's team is completely anonymous and uh, the, the only thing that speaks for them is their track record and there has never been any critical bug in any of their work even Luke's latest uh, so-called uh, article disclosure full disclosure attack I mean that was 90% of the attack is to make this bug look like it was something critical for privacy when it was not there has never been any such thing like the double counting back in Monero. Now, we don't know who Daryl's developers are, but it would make sense that if your developers, maybe maybe their developers were the same guys who audited. I don't know. I'm just saying, you know, maybe if you you have got tier developers, that like they are not going to pay for an auditor. But they would rather put out a bounty because a bounty is not uh, auditing is a ritual. You know, auditing is about shifting blame. It's a bit like consulting in banking that you hire a consultant so that you can blame them if something goes wrong. It's the same with the auditor. So if the auditor didn't catch the bug, and then what? If the auditor doesn't catch the bug, then who do you blame? The auditor, not not uh, Ricardo Spani. But end of the day, Monero Core was an incompetent team. That's why they had to hire so many outside outside developers to do the research and the heavy work for them. And Daryl didn't never needed to do this because it had competent developers. So now you are trying to compare apples and oranges. For this, I would say like it's it's a long answer, but just dig deeper into the history of these two protocols because you can't really compare these two. And and the fact that Monero hired an auditor doesn't mean anything really about their uh, good practices or best best practice. Maybe if you are incompetent, yeah, you should hire an auditor. I tend to think that um, I mean that's an interesting way of framing it, but. Audits are are important, and a lot of stuff does come out in audits sometimes. Like, I, sure, Bounty you could say, well, you're incompetent, so you hired an auditor. But you could also just say, hey, we know that we're fallible, so we hired an auditor. It's good to get a third-party external view. And so it's weird to me to hear you like kind of make these accusations that are not quite accusations. Like, oh, well, you're incompetent, so you hired an auditor. Oh, you're trying to offload blame to somebody else. Like, mm, that just man, that 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 sounds so biased, right? It's hard. Because I'm not, again, bro, remember, I'm not at the level like you are to be able to go evaluate the cryptography for myself. I'm not at the level to go like dig into the into the implementation of Monero's code. I'm just like basically looking externally um, at like nothing, just some simple indications. So, I have nothing against auditors. What I'm saying is that the difference between me and you is that you think that auditors are the only way. I'm saying that there is hiring an auditor and there is putting up a bounty and they're opted for putting up a bounty because maybe they couldn't find an auditor that they, that they considered competent enough to review their work and Monero opted for an auditor. I mean, they are different. You seem to think that the only way to do this is through an auditor and you have seen many things go wrong with auditors because uh, I mean, just look at the Solidity smart contracts. 
And in Darius' case, they opted for a bounty. And in this case, with Luke Parker, you had a guy who found a vulnerability, not, not critical, but still he couldn't, he could have earned something. He could have gotten part of that bounty had he acted responsibly and disclosed it responsibly. Instead, not only did he go for full disclosure, but he went for hype full disclosure for a sensationalist full disclosure to sow panic among their users which oh, I find well, it unacceptable. I mean, this is, this is bad practice. He tried, to, he tried to message some developers and he never got a response after after a good while. He never released a proof of no. concept publicly. No, 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 no. He, he tried to establish contact, which is probably he reached out to some developers and said, hey, I know I have a vulnerability, pay me. So, I mean, how many scammers contact developers promising to have found some bug. He never disclosed the bug. As far as I know, he only contacted some moderator that isn't even part of the Dara core team. He never contacted anyone from the Dara foundation. I don't when, know when you get a from. DM from you like Luke Parker <laughs> telling you, you like that. There's no I proper process. According contact to somebody to like tech leaks. I mean, who is, who is Luke Parker anyway? Like, I mean, what has he built? I mean, what has he built? I mean, he has built a, de a deck. He's a, crypt he's a cryptographer. He built Sarai. Yeah, but He's doing full chain membership. Yeah, it's full of cryptographers out there. We got offering. What's going on, man? Who just disclosed the bug in, in DM to the to captain and wait for an answer? He hadn't waited even 48 hours from the moment he attempted contact. Um, tech, Our tech friend, leaks. What's you're your you're the one who social engineered him to not wait. What's tech leaks is saying that he went out of his way to, to disclose it, but tech leaks is the one that told him to disclose it publicly and offered to pay him to do it, acted like he was a part of the Darrow community. If, if no, okay, anybody well, wants to be mad at anybody for making it public and so in discourse, it should be tech leaks. You, you, you're the one that asked for him to do it. He didn't bro, do it in public until you told him, I'll pay you a bounty to do it. Not really. He wrote and the article. In the things, there no there to there was no mention. He wrote an article, dude. Check his page. He wrote an article. I didn't. I didn't. People were asking under the article, does this really work? He said, yes, it's proof of, proof of concept. And I told him, let's do a test. And he couldn't anonymize the transaction, but still he, could, he managed to find the, the, the amount in it. But still, the, he presented this as a narrow network de-anonymization attack. This is clownish. I mean, I don't know. This is a circus. There, Maybe there's another thing I want to add. There's one thing I want to add here, man. Like, I can't even review your interaction with him because you blocked me on Twitter. I almost never talked to you. Yeah, I have some criticisms for Darrow, but I've never, like, talked down at you on Twitter, yet you blocked me. I, I don't think that's in the spirit of good, like, good faith I, I conversation, I personally. I all the time in Twitter now. I don't know why I blocked you. I don't know. I mean, it depends. I, I, I have to review it, and I'll get back to you on why I blocked you. I won't answer you on that right now. And you Almost mentioned Darrow is like a full, fully homomorphic encryption chain, which is a false claim. It's a partial homomorphic. No, it's not. Made up stuff. The, the it's not a, even a full homomorphic encryption thing. So why are you guys writing the time? No. So may I? This is a common. Uh, and another common. thing, the, in the original challenge, there I was no mention of now. responsible disclosure. What? Okay. So in Dero, Dero is in the in original a, challenge. Were there any a clause about responsible disclosure? I don't see any of them. So you are not paying Luke his amount since he broke the bugs. And now you are making a mess over here. No, uh, there doesn't need to be a link. I mean, there can be a link, but there, 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 there are there is the Dero Foundation, and there are the Dero developers who who hang out on Discord, and he could reach out. I mean, you can see if he acted in good faith or not, because you can reach out, even though uh, there. I Wait, don't know. A privacy you project. Can reach out you you keep talking Discord? about oh, team. Wow. What an you, you 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 keep talking about team and developers. But I only know about Captain. Can you name me one other developer from, from, from the Daryl team? Somebody else that he could have contacted instead of Captain? Because he, he right. posted so. he posted it on his GitHub publicly and let the whole public know that Daryl needs to reach out to him to, to get the responsible disclosure because he tried contacting them and nobody answered the phone. Yeah. And then so. you replied and said, oh, we don't believe you. So who, where is Captain and where is Captain's team? You keep saying there's more than one developer. Where are the other ones? Yeah. Yeah, there are many developers actually. There is Captain, who is the core team, and then there are others. 
And there is the Dero Foundation. You can find, for example, Cryptoid on uh, on Discord or also on Twitter oh. or the Dero Foundation account or the Dero Foundation website. And you can reach out to them or he could reach out to Captain or he could reach out to Dank. He's another uh, developer close to the core team. Or But he, they didn't reach out. He did not reach out to any developer and he didn't even wait for a reply. Like in less than 48 hours, this you guy- reached No, he, 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 got his, he got his reply from you. No, no. You reached out to him. You 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 sh if if you didn't if you didn't want him to, to if you didn't want him to put it out then you should have contacted him and gave him the details of who he needs to contact. You contacted him representing I the Daryl community and told I, him I to do and told him to wrong. told him to crack I your transaction. Not. And you I told him to crack two to transactions, not just one. You told I him to replied, crack two. I replied to his tweet where he posted his article titled "The Anonymization of the Daryl Network." I did not reach out to Luke, dude. Check your fact. Check check his tweet. That's where my exchange with him happened. I had him blocked. I unblocked him. You you ju you just said you you just said that you you just said that you replied to his tweet. In other words, you reached right. out to him. What are you talking no, about? You can't just play his word games tweet, out here. His tweet. You, <laughs> did, did he contact you? Did he contact you, or did you did you or did you reply to him? I replied to his tweet. I, a Dero community guy. Okay, so I so so you so you contacted him, right? Bro, oh, I am oh. a Dero user because and, you and, 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 and in Monero and, and, and in Monero, Monero, we're all Monero users. Yeah, take a break. Oh, in Monero, none of us are captain. I am not, in Monero, none I'm of us are captain. captain. Okay, I'm not a developer. I'm not the Dero Foundation. I'm a user. I saw bad news. I answered. I'm not. I I, I and Kaya is the same thing. He's he's a user. Who? Just because he's a developer doesn't mean that he runs he runs Monero. He calls himself a researcher, and he engaged in uh, full disclosure in in exactly research. Disclosure. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He re he yeah, researched and then disclosed the bug. But but he did he didn't he he didn't put the proof of concept out. Maybe maybe he should put maybe he should put it out right now. Maybe he should just just release it right now. Maybe instead of the ten thousand you, maybe he should have just gone to the FBI and offered it to them. <laughs> he has already shown his colors. He refused to engage in in responsible disclosure. I don't get no. If, if he wanted to show his colors, still, if he wants to show his colors, he would have gone. He would have gone, and he would he would have sold it on the dark net, and he would have never told you. Yeah, yeah. Of course, he could have so, gone out with his girlfriend and yeah. not been on Twitter at all. Yeah, okay. of course. The point is Check. that if he if, the, if he wanted to do this right, he had to opt for for responsible disclosure, like the Big Bang attack on Monero was responsibly disclosed. That was also a partially de-anonymizing de attack on Monero. You know, this is the same kind of same kind of vulnerability on Daryl, maybe maybe weaker, but that's how you do the thing. You do it right. You don't do it like a clown on Twitter, making it look bigger than it is and calling it the anonymization of the Daryl network. Like okay. you have to be like- No, actually, wow. for, for, yeah. for example, yeah. when it came to TX Extra, when it came to TX Extra, you know how that disclosure came about? Somebody just started putting the MRL logs on on chain. It doesn't. Nobody cares how it gets disclosed. Nobody cares. If and and the fact that he even reached out and he didn't put the proof of concept out, you're just full of sh you're you're full of dog poop, yo. Like I don't know what you're talking about. You offered the guy money. You offered him money with with your big Daryl symbol on. on yeah, you're making okay. I'd like to interject here. Okay. I think it's important to interject here. This is an important issue. So you can see on screen. I've shared my screen here. This is the um. This is uh, uh, Luke's GitHub post on on when he found the bug. Um, so just just really quickly as a side, yes, Monero has had um, caught. We had the potentially a black ball uh, attack that that brought us down to about five and a half um, ring size members. Right. We've had other privacy attacks. We've had other privacy bugs like we're not claiming to be free from privacy bugs. So we're, and we're not defensive when it happens, but we are like, hey, here's what the reality is. And OK, I can respect if you're trying to say, hey, this wasn't a completely like pwnage of our of our chain. OK, fair enough. Um, but like, let's 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 not try to speak with exaggerated language. So let's just see what Luke said about it in the thing that he posted on GitHub before the Twitter, the Twitter interaction took place. He says that he found it on May 14th. He tried to contact your lead dev, who is Captain Darrow, apparently, and tried to inquire, um, you know, if uh, if they could report those findings. And then he just didn't get, get any response from him for 48 hours. There's that 50,000 US dollar bug bounty that you mentioned. Um, and then so he didn't he didn't get a reply from the maintainer. So I guess I, I'm sorry, I, I misspoke. Uh, Captain Darrow is your lead maintainer who might not be. Maybe he isn't uh, a dev. That's kind of like Fluffy Pony wasn't really a dev for Monero, but he was a maintainer. Anyways, um, so he tried to contact another developer and they said, well, what you're looking at is probably a misunderstanding. This is where things seem to start to go wrong in, in my mind. Like 
it's not like there should be concern here. Like, hey, if you found something, um, let's examine it. Not like, oh, you you probably have a misunderstanding. Um, so unless Luke is just outright lying here about what he said, you know, th this is concerning. This is something. It does look like, like he tried to responsibly disclose. And notice he still he said he was going to give you guys a week. Um, let's see the proof of concept. So he, he he created a proof of concept. He said he'd release it in a week um, to get people to prepare. Um, you know, and that it's not optimized. So it's like he gave you guys time to respond. He tried to responsibly disclose. So it's weird to hear you say that he was just being a clown. It seemed like his only recourse after people blowing him off and not responding to him was Twitter. I, like, I, so what do you have any like direct response to that without calling him a scammer? Yeah. Like without like with in neutral language, can you respond to some of this? Yeah, so absolutely. Look, I, I don't think you are hearing me. Like I'm not saying Monero is free of bugs or that I'm expecting Monero to be free of bugs. Bugs are part of this, you know, are part of the game here. They happen all the time. I mean, Bitcoin had them, Monero had them, Daryl had the first one, like sort of serious, like not critical, but still. And the problem with, with how Luke acted is that he, as I said in the beginning, he not only act, opted for full disclosure, he also exaggerated the bug. This is the point that you are missing. Luke's article says, the anonymization of the Dero network. Do you know what that means? The anonymization of the Dero network means that you can de-anonymize the entire network, that you can find my transaction history by using Luke's uh, attack vector. But that's simply not possible because with using Luke's attack vector, you cannot even de-anonymize one of my transactions. You can only, if I give you the transaction ID with all the addresses in the ring, you can find the amount for which that transaction was, but you don't know who is the receiver, who is the sender, for whom that's a plus, for whom that's a minus. You don't know that. So this is what's wrong with how Luke acted. Now, if we, I mean, this is the real, you know, this is what really, what really uh, disappointed me or what really makes me call him a clown because you don't have to exaggerate it for more attention, right? So then Luke reached out to Captain. He didn't answer in two days. I mean, who said that Captain has to, to answer him within 48 hours. We don't even know who Captain is. You know, maybe Captain got a real life job. You know, maybe wait at least a week, five business days, let the weekend pass. I don't know. Common sense, right? If you act in good faith, you, you don't look for excuses to pull the trigger and then to go out full public and exaggerate, call it the anonymization of the Dara network. It's just clownish. Dude, this is all covered though. This is all, everything you're saying right now is literally covered where he literally, he mentions this where, um, the byte intended for the sender index was totally mistakenly used for receiver index. Can, can you scroll up at the title? Ago. Can you scroll up at the title? The anonymization of the Dero network. That's clownish. I haven't even read yes, the Yes, that's exactly thing. what it does. And he said no, that he not. found the receiver for your own transaction. Like he mentioned yeah, that. I'm but right. for one transaction, here. he found the mount and receiver because it had the message. One of those transactions, if the transaction doesn't have a message, he cannot even find any receiver. It's just he can find only the amount. You cannot de-anonymize Dero this way. You can only find for certain transactions who used a certain version of a certain wallet, you can find the transaction amount. But that's it. He calls it the anonymization of the Dero network. Now, how is that fair play? How is that not well, a malicious Well, it's because it's the newer version that has the problem. It's the newer version. And also, that's huge. No. Like, even if he doesn't find the no, set of the the newer version. Now, it's the Engram newer version that received a contribution from a community dev that wasn't merged to the official wallet, I think. But it's not the new. We have to wait for Captain on that to hear the full because Luke is not really a reliable. So I mean, just look at the title. He calls it the anonymization of the Dero network. I mean, that's well, crazy. That's, that's this guy has gone nuts. Luke, that's I don't know what quibbling over grammar here. That's that's a no, grammar not, quibble. No, okay, like okay, yeah, maybe you cannot anonymize one transaction. How no, to anonymize the network? You need to no, be okay, able okay, to okay, tell okay, me what is tech, my power. We understand. I get it. I get it. What you I get what you're saying. You're saying that Luke, in his language, exaggerated the nature of the bug, but. It sounds in some ways to me like you're trying to say, well, because Luke exaggerated it, the bug is basically like nothing and it doesn't exist and it doesn't matter. And he and like you're, you're taking that. small. It, OK, but it, OK, so you can at least admit that, yes, there's a bug there. Yes, Absolutely. it can harm users. Yes. And yes, it's a weakness. The other thing that I would just like to see you acknowledge is that it does look like Luke tried to responsibly disclose this and he didn't get a response from Captain Darrow. Fair enough. Maybe he's in the hospital for all we know. But this other dev that he contacted after not getting a response from Captain Darrow kind of blew him off, right? Like, that's you understand, you know, like how this kind of thing can dev. escalate, right? You, you, would, you would say that so, was a say Xylem. That He's not a dev. The guy, the other guy he contacted was a Xylem. He's 
a designer or some guy who does volunteer work for Dero. He's not a developer and he's a volunteer moderator in the Dero Discord. He's not a developer. So I don't know how Luke, like Luke didn't really show a minimum of good faith in the way he acted, you know? Can, this can is... you describe the proper process then for like that he should have gone through? What sh who should he have contacted? What's the process he should have gone through? So I would have reached out if, if I was in his place, I would have reached out to Captain on, on uh, Element or on the, I would have reached both out to Discord and Element. I would have said, who can I speak to? I found a vulnerability research there in the general Discord channel. So everyone would have seen it. There would have been proof that he saw it. Other people would have known that something is going on, you know, just to be careful. I don't know. So then I would have waited for someone to get back to me. Probably it would have been a Captain or Cryptoid or someone from the foundation. And then I, I would have taken it with them in private and explained to them, etc., etc. If, if after, I don't know, weeks or one month, uh, they showed no willingness to acknowledge the bug or, or to <clears throat> acknowledge his work or his research and stuff, then he would have gone public. I mean, I would, I, one That's month and just... Time. One week. We, let's make it one week. The point is that he didn't do any of this. He didn't even join Discord. He didn't post anything on Discord. He just PM'd someone, waited for less Wait, than 40 minutes. privacy on project public. on Discord? Okay, I wanted to ask something. Do you Boss, consider not Dero a privacy, as a... Privacy Discord is the team. you got to reach the team. They are humans. Where, where are you going to reach out to them? Where? Oh, on Discord. Okay, That's where I wanted to ask not, not on Discord. Honestly, can you say... Discord is on Element, element. Can you say? On Element. On Element or use any... <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, okay. One second. I wanted to ask something. Do you really consider Dero as a proper FOSS project? Free and open source project? Well, this is another, of course, uh, do you, let me ask you another question. Do you know who, with the history of Dero and Monero? Oh boy, seriously, you cannot even answer that. Okay, just yes, tell me. Do Dero you, is an open source. Question. Dero is. I, I, I do want to hear the, part. I do want to hear his version of the history. I want to, I want to, I, I would like to hear. About okay, tell thoughts. your history. Then I will, I can ask another question. Okay, no, I'll first, out of respect to you, I'll answer your question. And yes, Dero's code is public. Anyone can review it. That's how luke found the bug right because the code is public and open source this it's it, it has a research only license which means you little buddy cannot steal it like ricardo spani did with bit monero they stole the code they hard forked it from thankful for today and they launched monero with the excuse that we are better at marketing but they were a bunch of morons with barely code so they waited three years to release a gui wallet so that thing is not going to happen again forget about it that's why Dero has a research only license so that morons from Tel Aviv, like, like Guy Ziskind and all the scammers from uh, Silicon cannot just come there, copy paste it and launch a new brand and, and go and seek funding from their uh, VC friends and say, we did this because nobody knows about Dero. That's why Dero has a research only license, but it's open source in the sense that anyone can review the code, how every piece of the software of the Dero machine works, of the architecture works. So yeah, that's my so answer to you. And basically a source only code. So it's a basically a source only project. Dero makes Zcash look better. Dero okay, is another a question. project. You cannot copy. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Whatever. You cannot okay, copy we'll and get steal. To the Why do you want to copy later. and steal other people's work? I don't get it. Why? What are you a communist? Why do you want to work to steal other people's work? They are you can review it, you can conduct research on it, but you cannot rebrand it and call it mine. That's simply what you cannot do. What Ricardo so Spani did free and open source project. Okay, okay, fine. Now you cannot do it. Why is it unacceptable to you, buddy? Why? Okay, yeah, let me ask. Because I use Linux. Later. Wait, wait. What? One second, one Good. second. Let's so you ask can see another what question. you run. That's exactly there. But you can wait, steal wait, it. one second, one second. You said like you have an amazing team. Okay, tell me. Have you found any team, such team, which cannot even disclose proper way? They cannot maintain their own GitHub. They cannot maintain their own Git instance. Have you seen the issues at Dero project? Is what? any of them are even ad addressed properly? No, I, I, I don't see. I think you have issues with them. It doesn't make them Dero's issues. Like you want them to mess with the code continuously. Maybe these guys do some research first, they plan, they execute, they release, and then they iterate in small steps because there are no critical bugs, no reason to take the uh, the network down, etc. That doesn't mean that they are not working on it. They are, it doesn't mean that they are not working on, on other upgrades, etc. Just because you there there can be also private, you know, work done in private. It doesn't all have to be public. So I, I think this is your problem and you are projecting it on Dero. Maybe you have to to 
to in- amplify your understanding of it, you know, to accommodate what's going on there. Because you oh, see, oh, really? Okay, let me do yeah. one thing. Can you just put up my latest link? I'll just show him what he's even talking about. I think basic understanding, I think no one can get if they don't understand the full picture. Uh, Doug, Doug, can you just post the link? Uh, it, it's, it's in GitHub. Yeah, just post that link posted by Trevor Dor at 2022. Yeah. At the year of 2022, there was a post. Basic Dero project doesn't even qualify to f- fulfill a basic security function of electric curves of 120-bit security. So can you answer? If you have such an amazing team, why cannot they even respond to this post? Maybe because first of all, I'm not the team. So you'd have to ask the team about this. Like, honestly, I don't know why you are asking me about, uh, I don't know. It's like asking me about about something someone else did. Like, I don't oh, know. There because, is a problem like, with Dero. You cannot understand. Like, no, no, there's, no, Dero has there's so a problem with you, with you cannot even recognize. Buddy. You are used to scams. I mean, there is a problem. Maybe because this is not, maybe because they address this another way. I don't know. Reach out, ask them. Have you asked there? Have you asked Captain about this? Have you asked Captain about this? Have you? Apparently, asked Captain, Captain is not available for comment. Have, have you been in the Dara Discord? Since talk about talk about false Captain. prophets. Jeez, the way you talk about Captain, it's Who like is he's like some god. He is the coder of Dara, and he's asking me, dude. This, there is a problem with you, not with Captain or with Dara or with with the developers. Like you are asking a random dude over on Twitter over something that has nothing to do with me. Like, have you asked them? No, you haven't. So what <laughs> Because exactly they, they, they were not about? responding. Captain, remember, remember, Captain didn't respond. That's kind of how we got here. This is from 2000. There's, there's a couple Captain, other things. Do you even know how uh, well, open source was, project works? I would like to yeah, offer a little bit more. I'm, I'm actually reactive, reading though. through Kayaba's, Kayaba Nerve's GitHub post here. There's a few more things I think are worth noting. This wasn't an active exploit that if patched, no one could be compromised. Eventually, the knowledge of this exploit, whether quote unquote responsibly disclosed or not, was going to reveal transaction amounts and messages in the Darrow network. It was a passive attack. So it's not like it could be patched before it could be exploited. It doesn't matter. It's already there and it's going to be like all of these messages are going to be undone anyways. So um, what Kayaba is saying here is that um, because there, he, he wasn't able to find any responsible disclosure features, um, other than, Hey, reach out to some communities and maybe we'll get back to you in like a week or so. And so what's happening here is like, he's faced with the, with the decision of, do I disclose this? I tried to like get the developer's attention quickly. It's been a couple days. Some other person that, that didn't even inform me that he wasn't a developer. That's like, this guy didn't inform uh, Luke, that he was not a developer and he didn't like say, Hey, well, I'm not a developer, but get in contact with these people. Right. So after like trying to make some, some contact, not getting any contact and then having to ask himself, should I just remain silent while people on Darrow do things that could compromise their privacy? Their, their compromise, their, their privacy is going to be compromised anyways in the future. Once this thing gets published, regardless of responsible disclosure. So I'm going to go to the internet. Now I'm going to go to Twitter and let people know that there's a danger here. To me, that is responsible. Like that's responsible to limit the amount of people using Darrow for for um, encrypted messaging, particularly, um, but just transactions in general. Like that is responsible because you stop the bleeding right away because Darrow didn't um, was unable to be contacted in a reasonable time frame. And for stuff like this, man, forty eight hours is a reasonable time frame. Okay. I'm I'm just saying that. And, um, and, and on, to- on top like, of all that, you then you you have the audacity to call him a time. scammer. Wait, wait, it, a second, it, it, wait a second. It's completely and, and illogical. The reason, the reason I called him, I call him, whatever I call him, is because as I explained previously, can you please scroll up at his title, at the title of his article? He calls it the anonymization of the Dero we network. This. No, he does that's, not that's call it partial and, anonymization. He does not call it quibbling. the anonymization of Dero messages. He's you're, a clown. You're trying to distract. So how can you this tell is a debate tactic. You you're trying to distract from the core disclosure. issue by quibbling with the grammar he's that he exaggerated. Okay, maybe he did exaggerate. So I already gave you that. A, I already give you that. To, he's trying to sow panic because people sold. Have you seen the liquidity of Dero? You know how many people sold at a loss because of Luke's article? Have you seen, I mean, just look at the liquidity. It's like 50K, 100K. I know at least a couple of people myself who's, who done pretty decent bags, you know, after after Luke's article because, whoa, Luke anonymized Daryl. But that's retarded of Luke, like redacted. Oh, because, no, your precious oh, Daryl. 
but he did not. He did not. Tag, 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 tag me. Can you answer, answer, answer this one for me. Answer, 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 answer this one for me. Are you sure can he you didn't? Please up at the, can you please? Yes. No, no. Are you sure that he didn't do it? And are you? Are, no, no. He didn't. He might not have told you the whole story. He might have told you chapter one. Are you sure he didn't? He didn't what? De-anonymize the entire network. Are you sure he didn't? I am sure that what he has written here has nothing to do with anonymizing. The well, 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 that's okay, what he wrote now, there. That's not what he's. That's not what he okay, said so to Captain. That's that's not, we, that's not what he's. That's not what he's writing a responsible disclosure. For you, it's called BSV. Go there. They they there. You 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 do. You always add to whatever the guy says. He's playing 3D chess. Yes, Luke has has anonymized. Has has a quantum computer in his basement, bro. Look at what he has written. It has nothing to do with anonymizing Daryl. Simple, simple as that. Over, like so. In many cases, are you still claiming that Daryl doesn't have a problem? After all of this, you're still claiming Daryl doesn't have a problem. Your no, captain or whatever you, they right? are, no, they I'm cannot saying. even address a oh, simple he, problem. He's, Posted on two thousand and twenty-two. Huge no, time have passed. No, he's not saying there are. You have cannot, a problem. cannot even problem. fix that. Two thousand twenty-two. It's your problem, brother. Not not there. He's he's, he's, he's not saying that there doesn't have a problem. He he just said what the problem is. His friends dumped their bags. He just said that. That's the problem. That is no, that, that, that the Daryl guys are dumping yeah. their bags. No, no, why did you why did you bring it up? No, why did you bring it up? All these people way, dumped their bags. Well, that, oh my, <laughs> let me explain. Good question. Because the way Luke behaved. His reckless behavior, okay, caused people because he titled his article "The Anonymization of the Daryl Network," which is false. This should have been partial de-anonymization of Daryl messages, partial de-anonymization or full de-anonymization of Daryl messages, partial de-anonymization of certain Daryl transactions. Like that, it would have been okay. But de-anonymization of the Daryl Network, you know, some people went into full panic mode dumped everything you know and and i don't know if they when they decide to buy back i don't know what how the, the liquidity is going how the game is being played my point is this is exactly what luke did and when you can where he shows his true colors his choice of words you know that choice okay. of words as a champion of capitalism project tell me why yeah let's give, okay, let's give another stage. thing so your problem is just the fact that it's titled de-anonymization and you think it should be partial de-anonymization. But do you also agree that what he's been able to discover is that's that's still pretty massive. That's still very concerning for anyone who's using Darrow and who has used Darrow in the past. As I said, like if if Luke had disclosed this responsibly, okay, if Luke had acted in good faith. Well, I don't think anyone Luke... here agrees with that statement. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Let me finish. Let me finish a second. Okay, maybe maybe I'm I'm too much of a gentleman, but if Luke had acted, had behaved like a gentleman, you know, I don't care if he's a man. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, care. you are the furthest thing from a gentleman. Go, go ahead. Continue. <laughs> you, no, I am a gentleman. You, you talk about playing with, you, you're, you're, you're talking about playing with words. You said, <laughs> tell me the balance of this of this transaction, and I'll give you 10,000 Daryl. And then he did it. You said, no, 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 no. Let me, let me move the goalpost. And then you moved the goalpost and he did it let's, again. Let's read my tweet. I said, they anonymize the transaction. I did not say find the value. I said, they anonymize. I wish I could. You blocked me. No, you can ask your friends. There are plenty of screenshots around. Look, uh, if Luke had acted seriously in good faith, I think he, he, des he would have deserved the bug and it would have been really disappointing. If the Dero team hadn't awarded him the bug, if he had properly disclosed it, discussed it with them, and then given them the time or the mode to, to implement a patch or and etc. And then if they hadn't acknowledged his research and if they hadn't awarded him, even in that case, you can you can make that you can argue that they should have given him, if not fifty thousand, ten thousand or something, because it was still so so what you're what you're saying. I what you're saying is that he more. shouldn't is that is that he should is that he shouldn't contact Darrow anymore. Now he should just go straight to the FBI and go get like four hundred thousand and just never tell you about it. That's what you're saying. No, no this is your fantasy. That's not what I said. What I'm saying. No, is it's, it's not my fantasy. You're 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 making excuses to not pay him for no. the bounty. So no. if he's not going to get paid for the bounty, you're telling me that he I shouldn't said, just go shop he, it off to somebody he, that will pay him. He, if he had acted responsibly, first of all, if he had not mischaracterized the bug, because I saw I don't know how accurate, but I saw a screenshot of a private message he sent. Maybe to asylum. I don't know. I saw it on Twitter where he calls this a critical privacy bug. This is not a critical privacy bug. Critical privacy, I would say, when you're down it, it, it is a critical privacy bug. It's like 
Like what's said, it's a passive attack and it affects past transactions. Yes. It's not something that no, you could just no, fix it net right now and then yesterday's no, transactions are okay. It doesn't happen. No, yesterday, no. anything it anything does somebody not. does today is crackable by anybody that has the proof of concept. No, nothing. Not transactions. Message anything. Anybody. Nothing. Transactions. You cannot. You can and, just and, the, and the and the and, and the and the and the amounts. You are no, aware no. that amounts are a critical aspect for chain analysis and no, de-anonymizing centers. Yeah, especially when you claim to be a privacy coin. Is, when you claim to be a privacy coin, you can't just absolutely. be claiming to be a privacy coin and have public transactions. And according because, to the paper, oh like God. part a certain amount of the transactions are fully de-anonymized. No, listen to me. When in Dero, if I have, if even if I give you, even if I gave Luke my address, you know, I give him my address, and he uses this method, he can go and look all the transactions where my address appears. Okay, in no way he cannot, he, he can't even know in which of those transactions I am a receiver or a sender, and in and in which I'm just a decoy address. Because the way Dero works is my address is is all the time appears in transactions. So just because you know the amount. It doesn't tell you anything unless, of course, it's if we do a purely a puristic, of course, it's not a good thing. Of course, I'm not saying this is a nothing burger because, as I said, it deserves, I would have acknowledged it had he behaved in good faith, had he not tried to exaggerate this in order to sow panic among, among users. But the way Luke so, acted like, invalidates any claim. So, so, so like I said, if your name was Captain and, and Captain says, I don't like the way Luke acted, I'm not going to pay the bug bounty. Are you telling me that that's that's okay? Because then Luke could just go sell it to anybody else. He hasn't put it out yet. He hasn't released it yet. He hasn't given it away to anybody yet. I have, there's no reason why he can't go get. Why he can't wait for Daryl to be worth a billion dollars before he yeah. puts it out? Why why doesn't yeah. he just do that? Yeah, he. he I mean, why doesn't do he act like you and 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 like right? right? Yeah, he can do whatever he wants. You're you're yeah. the bad you're the bad actor when you don't no, want people on Daryl to know that their privacy is in danger. No, I am happy to let people know. You are not listening to me. I'm saying, had Luke act responsibly and had Captain told him, no, uh, I don't, uh, I don't want to give you the bounty, then in that case, yes, that would have somehow given me cold feet about the whole Daryl project. That then you would have had the point. Had Luke even simply gone for full disclosure without exaggerating the bug i wouldn't have really called him a scammer or a clown because you know you can do that i mean this in this kind of space i mean competition is ruthless you can go and attempt to like full full frontal confrontation with the other project and expose them in what you saw but when you go and you exaggerate the the bug you call it the anonymization of the entire network that in that case he has Definitively discredited himself. He doesn't even. He shouldn't even what? be in the privacy no. space no, because that's that's malicious. What, one, one, one thing. One thing. Is that Kaya, listen, thing you don't want. One thing you don't want. Is that Kaya? Listen. Okay. For the dealer team. Yeah. Hang on. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. That's not you, how. That's not how being just. You. You are a champion of capitalism. Okay. Tell me. That's not. What kind of cryptography? Let body go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One person at a time. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Go ahead, body. That's not how discreditation works. Like, it's people misspeak all the time. I misspeak all the time. Sometimes I use an ex exaggerated language. Sometimes it can be appropriate even to use exaggerated language to catch someone's attention. Hey, be careful. You might de anonymize yourself yeah. here on, on Darrow. Full so, homomorphic encryption. So, just because he made an exact, like, just because the title of his, of his disclosure might have been a bit exaggerated doesn't discredit the disclosure and the bug itself. And there's another thing that's important to point out here. You'll notice that I have a disclosure timeline pulled up. I pulled up Kaya's, um, right, we've, we're, we're screen sharing here. Can you screen share with us? Can you find where the proper um, disclosure uh, on in the Darrow project, what is the proper disclosure procedure? Can you find that page for us? Because apparently Kaya tried to find it and he couldn't find it. So all I'm saying is like, if you could share your screen with us and show us like what's the proper bug disclosure procedure, um, that would help a lot. Sure, I'll do that. Um... First of all, I want to say that when you say how you would use words, how I use words, you know, we are not researchers. And this is something that has been formalized in professional among uh, security professionals and researchers. As I said, it's called responsible disclosure. And when you find a vulnerability, okay, um, you have to use, you have to characterize it appropriately. You cannot just by chance uh, make it bigger than it really is and say, oh, sorry, I just used the wrong word, buddies. I meant this. I didn't mean that. Because in that case, 
you are doing what is i mean in that case that's an attack like the the technical language for your behavior if you are so reckless and so idiotic that you don't pick the right word that's an attack on that on that software on those users so the the screen system. screen sharing speaks no. screen sharing no. speaks louder than whatever you're saying so please show us Monero's right. responsibility right. right. responsible disclosure instructions because Monero, because has, Monero, Monero has Monero Monero has hacker one I, I want to see what Monero's is Monero has hacker one what is Monero's Monero yes. applies yeah. the same standard to ourselves by the way I, I've seen Monero developers call d call d various attacks of various weaknesses various bugs uh, in Monero de-anonymization attacks. Maybe we just have a different language about this, but in some cases, I've even been surprised at the Monero devs saying, hey, this is a de-anonymization attack. Like for example, um, where they were able to tell the sender the true output spend of transactions sent within the first um, block after the lock expiry. Um, that, was, that was labeled as a de-anonymization de attack, even though um, it was, in my mind, it was more like a weakness of Monero's, uh, a weakening of your, of your anonymization. And in some cases, some limited cases, particularly with uh, interacting with exchanges, yeah, that would have been a de-anonymization event for some small amount of people, but it wasn't for the whole network by any means. And it wasn't for all transactions. It was for a small minority of, very small minority of transactions when you really get down to it, like in the practical effects. Um, so just know that Kai is speaking with the kind of language that we apply to ourselves also in Monero. So I, um, I don't think that Luke here was being um, necessarily exaggerating. He didn't say full, complete, and total de-anonymization of all Dero transactions and the unwinding of the network. He just called it a de-anonymization attack. He didn't elaborate exactly the details of that de-anonymization in the title, but then <laughs> later on, he demonstrated what yep. that was specifically. So I just so, don't see anything that's like positively bad faith there. Um, so, and I can so. see how from his perspective, it was like, yeah, I tried to contact them. There doesn't seem to be a procedure for this. I kind of got blown off um, and it's a passive attack. So these transactions are getting unwound anyways. I need to inform users. Um, so, but man, if you can find it, like, please put the, put the DNA, uh, sorry, put the disclosure procedures up so we can all read them. I will, I will make it easy for you. Just, I just Googled, uh, first of all, as I explained earlier, we went through this once. Responsible disclosure means that you reach out to the team. And if you go to the Dero.io page, if you can do it for me right now, you will see that there are many ways. There is a contact link, link or something. You can reach out on Discord. You can reach out on uh, on uh, um, on uh, Matrix, on Element. And there are many ways you can reach out to the Dero developers. now simply because they didn't answer you within two minutes or two days or when you wanted to be answered doesn't really give you the right to go um, to be a clown and one mischaracterize the bug that you found and two go public about it and uh, three accused go to, to great lengths within the community etc to accuse the team to, to start lecturing them about this and that look so you guys see things and other people see things like that's called bias. I, I'm trying to stick to facts here. Again, this is not a vulnerability that de-anonymizes the Dero network. This is something that only few people see. I know I don't know what you guys have, what sunglasses you are using, or how. This is not a de-anonymization of the Dero network. This is a partial de-anonymization of certain transactions and the de-anonymizations. If I understood it correctly, I'm waiting for Captain of Dero messages. That's that doesn't it. make that it's, term incorrect, though. I mean, it still makes it, does, it correct. Because, saying... Of course it does, because de-anonymization of the Dero network means de-anonymization of the entire network. If, for example, you can do this with a coin that has a master That's key. That's your specific right? interpretation. You cannot do it with Dero. No, it's not mine, because the Dero network mm -hmm. as a whole, it's not one. You, you, with this thing, you cannot even de-anonymize a single wallet. You cannot de-anonymize. I can give you five transactions. Even if I give you my address, you still cannot de-anonymize it. You don't know in which transaction. You cannot come up with my balance, even if you look at, the, at my whole transaction history, because you can't tell which transactions are mine and in which others my address is a decoy address. So this is what Luke did. You cannot... You cannot it's, it's a partial no de-anonymization, but that still makes it a type of de-anonymization. But I don't think anyone here no. is going to like agree the on... The like, attack on Monero was described as a partial de-anonymization attack. Nobody said this is a de-anonymization attack of the Monero network. That would have been clownish.
So maybe it's more fair to say it's a partial de-anonymization attack, but I don't think it's necessarily false to say that it is just a de-anonymization attack. I think no one here is going to agree on the terminology. All right, I think we should. All right, I think I think we beat this particular aspect. Yeah, no one's going to agree. I just have I just have one thing to comment. Uh, yeah, I just have one. I just have one comparison to comment. Let's in, get untraceable MRLs, up here. I see untraceable okay. back. Untraceable. How's it going, untraceable? In, in, in MRL yesterday, there was a link posted, and the link was to a research paper. The title of the research paper is De-Anonymizing Transaction Ori Transactions Originating from Monero Tor Hidden Service Nodes. This was never disclosed responsibly. This is just a research paper that was put up on a research website. So I don't know what you're crying about. It happens all the time. I'm not crying. Yeah, it happens all the time. I'm and second crying. of all, Okay, I wanted to ask Techly one more thing. Tell me what Dero has even contributed to the cryptography space. Everything you have, it's half S and it's already there. Exactly, tech is already there. So tell me what has Dero even done? Right, right, right. Okay, what kind of, okay as a uh, champion of capitalism, tell me what you, the Dero team has even done. Okay. I don't I know like if you know about Dero. I mean, I don't know how deep topic. because you are so yeah, kind of off topic. It's like Dero is the first fully homomorphic L1, which means it's in fully homomorphic. Okay, in the another sense. lie. It's not fully really fully homomorphic encryption. It's always in encrypted state. This is why, despite also this vulnerability, you cannot hey. find anything about single accounts because they are always encrypted. Because they are traceable. Always What's up, man? In encrypted oh, uh, state. What's up, guys? What are we talking about? And there is nah. also <laughs> 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 we gotta start from the beginning. Okay. We're right. the beginning was the word and the word was God. Okay, so uh just one one thing real quick. I actually have three points, but just to reply to what you just said, is it really always encrypted if well it just <laughs> they just revealed the amounts? Yes, but anyway, you don't have to answer that. Uh, no, I have, no, no, uh, I'll answer that. I'll answer sure, that. Sure. That's okay. always encrypted. Just the way they are, those things are paired, the message with the amounts. That's that's because knowing uh, when the message is null and there is there is a mismatch there, a pairing of some non that uh, a simple design thing that just has to be split. If I would wait for Captain to answer on this, but yes, they are encrypted, and then he recursively goes through to guess the amount, and he and he brute forces it basically because it doesn't break the encryption. Uh -huh. And okay, by, so... by by let me finish by this can this bug can be can can be easily fixed, and once you fix it again, you, that amount you cannot you can no longer calculate it or brute force it, and the bigger design issue you have in Monero is that you have the UTXO model accounting model which requires key images which can that which you cannot fix i mean those that's a proper attack vector on monero on dero you don't have key images like because we because dero uses the account model you don't have key image it eliminates key images you have this simple bug that you can fix it easily but how are you going to fix key images on monero you can't you have to change completely so okay. that's the, that's the the difference between a problem at an architectural level and the simple bug because someone overlooked something. It's a human mistake, or maybe it was intended to be there. Who the fuck knows? Maybe they wanted people to find it. Developers. Okay. To do you know the difference okay, between gotcha. fully homomorphic encryption and partial homomorphic encryption? Do you even know the difference? Have you studied the history of? I wrote an article about this. You need to study the history. Basically. Um, okay. Okay, so, Wait, hold on, so okay, I got it. Oh, boy. Let untraceable. Yeah, let untraceable, yeah, untraceable guys. Okay, so I got it. So it's, it's all about staying always encrypted. Now, how many operations you can do? Let untraceable you? talk. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, yeah, I get it. It's it's permanently encrypted unless the devs don't audit the code and then it gets decrypted. Got it. All right, so the three points I wanted to make is about, first of all, Darrow is not open source. It's source viewable. When something is open source, and you fork it, you're not stealing. That's a contribution because that forked code is also open source and the Correct. original coders can, uh, benefit from the improvements and advancements from the people who fork it and continue to develop it, et cetera. So that's why we have Linux and several distros of Linux. And that that's why it's so massively improved and uh, come a long way over the years. And if it was just research purpose only, then we wouldn't have that. Well, um, can I that that's also something that prevents other developers from contributing to Darrow, which could be a reason, system. which could it's be a, a reason why this bug wasn't caught earlier. 
not because really. it's not open source it's source viewable not really the reason why this bug was caught is because it's source viewable you can view it it also has a research license simply you cannot steal it that's why because this is a cryptocurrency that's... this is not linux man this is different like i don't know if you can compare yeah it's it's not here. linux because yeah, i don't know, i don't know do, do you know the history of how monero core hijacked bit monero maybe you should look that up basically they kicked out the original developer who built the genesis block because you monero core the, the original developer was a scammer developers it was an monero actual core scam call. no it wasn't bit monero was not a scam bitcoin maybe was a scam. <laughs> bit monero no. yeah bit monero was not a scam you, you guys you guys are cool bit monero like, even had fast you, mining built into go up. you don't even know the history of monero i bit thought you were bitcoin, talking about bitcoin yeah no i'm talking yeah. about bit monero yeah, i know the history about bitcoin no you don't because you said bit monero was a scam bit monero was not a scam i was talking about bitcoin the, no, yeah, nobody said bit monero was, was a scam you 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 you're the first person to bring up the name bit monero we said you said that we forked it away and we said we, that it was forked away from scammers you are triple dose vaxxers like you guys are brainwashed bitmon okay. the guy who developed bitmonero is the guy who exposed the bitcoin scam and restarted it from block zero and he rebuilt the genesis block and then after two weeks monero core stole his chain with the excuse of marketing because we are better at marketing and they did not launch a ge another genesis block they stole they hard forked it to kick him out why because they couldn't code now these are the guys against which you know captain i guess or the core team of dero is trying to defend against to fend off by putting that license because we don't want to see another vc backed group of hijackers come there hijack the protocol keep it stalling for four years so they accumulate and speed mine it and then build a gui wallet after seven years and then after go and pump and dump it on binance that's not what we are trying to do here i mean they are trying to build the first unstoppable private smart contract platform is which is different okay. from the kind of pump and dumps that you are used to in uh, vc coins and in monero okay so that was my first point there was not open source uh, and forking code it is not so stealing it code. it the you cannot steal. everyone everyone can everyone benefits from someone no. contributing to code case. okay Thieves that was my benefit. first point okay. the you second thing wrong. i want to ask you is who are the protocol devs in monero is captain the only one the protocol devs in monero no uh, in dero so is dero the only uh captain dero is is he the only uh protocol developer so so uh there is quite you know the culture in there is very very cypherpunkish in this sense like there is not a guy and we there is a team of developers that uses the i mean if you follow closely there you will see that sometimes it's obvious the different people right from the captain account like it's obvious if you spend time there mm -hmm. or if you review the messages so obviously it's not one guy because even if you review the Dero code base because it's source viewable so you can review it you know you can read the code you can see what they've built like for example their database graviton or for example mm -hmm. nomon which is another one all these pieces of tech or the astro bwt mining algo which is the most egalitarian today uh, all these things you can you can uh, if you evaluate or you know that it, they can't have been built by one single guy so that's okay. obviously okay, okay so, so captain Dero that use one pseudonym that is captain Dero, but it's not one guy okay i understand so captain Dero is possibly more than one person uh, how long has it been since capital Dero has been active online was online i think uh, last time it was two weeks or maybe mm -hmm. one month at most when uh, the 15th of april like one month at, so sure. how is someone supposed to responsibly dis disclose that to a group of potential people which sounds uh, kind of uh, uh like it's not a group of people if because if it's a group of people at least one of them would come online onto that account at some point in the past two months wouldn't they so uh, how maybe, how does someone either that or, a, or an organization how so, does someone responsibly disclose disclose so, a so, critical privacy bug to someone who hasn't come online for two months okay so false assumption one it's not like they have to come online every day because it depends what uh, security precautions they take because they are they are uh, privacy developers like you, you know what happened recently with tornado cash etc so uh, i guess they they are very careful and they only i, I would say they use the, that account only if they have some important update to post etc 
and uh, but there is as i said it's very easy you just join a community on matrix or on discord and you uh, ask to reach out because you have found a vulnerability you want to share it and uh, because on Dero, there is actually also the Dero foundation and cryptoid that is um, that works for the foundation he's always on discord so had the guy Kai, um, luke parker the founder of seridex and had he opted for for responsible disclosure he would have simply um, he would have had to simply reach out on Discord, post a message in the main, in the generator, or on Matrix somewhere where people would have seen it. And someone, I mean, like Cryptoid or Captain himself, or would have reached out to him. Or another way to responsibly disclose is to DM Captain, but you know, wait maybe more than forty-eight hours. I don't know, just common sense. But but if hey, he um, would have DM'd two months ago, he would still be waiting. Yeah. So, so I want to I want to actually circle back around. This is a time to circle back around to the website because we asked you, hey, what's the proper disclosure procedure for Darrow? And you said go to Darrow.io. So here we are at Darrow.io. We're going to go to um, documentation. You can see it says bounties, right? So we're going to click on bounties. Mm -hmm. um, cool looking website. Let's learn more about bounties. Rewards of fifty thousand Darrow, fifty thousand dollars for Darrow yeah. testnet bugs. So this is says. There are testnet bugs. Okay, I guess is it a mainnet bug? Are y'all still in testnet? But anyways, there's some important links to start. But when we start following these links, okay, so we we come to the the GitHub here. Welcome to Darrow. Okay, so now we've got to scroll through. I thought I thought this was supposed to be taking us to how to claim a bounty, but now it's just taking us to the Darrow GitHub. Um, okay, uh, we went to a Darrow blockchain explorer. I, I don't exactly see how this is a disclosure procedure. Okay. But let's go back to the Darrow project. Let's go back to the Darrow project on GitHub, right? Well, how about you make an account on the Darrow forum and make a post there to start with? On oh, that okay, thread. okay, but okay, but you told me to go to Darrow.io. But furthermore, now now we're at the top level Darrow project, mm -hmm. and let's go to the right here. People, there's two people here on this mm -hmm. on this GitHub. So it's like most communities. The standard procedure on most communities that have a GitHub is that at least somebody, there's somebody every day that's going to, especially a big project, right? A production level project is going to have a GitHub or someone that's able to be contacted fairly easily. There should be a, an easy way to do this. And we were asking you, how many developers are there? Maybe there's hidden developers that we're not seeing and they're contributing code to one of these two people first. You know, and it's kind of like a, there, there's a bit of a, yeah. a bottleneck there and not right. in a bad, bad but, sense. But all I'm but, saying is that it's not entirely transparently clear for us to see simply how, how this bug bounty should have been approached um, just from the website here. All right, but the point here is that uh, Luke, uh, it's not like Luke uh, tried his best for one week or even for five business days to reach out and uh, nobody. It's simply that Luke sent a message, didn't receive a, a, a reply in 40, it's not even clear to whom, to, to one of the core developers or to someone else. And then he went full out <clears throat> He published his findings with an exaggerated title. So as I said also in the beginning of this interview, like it's not such a big deal. I mean, for this kind of, he could have gone and gone full disclosure on it. The problem is that he exaggerated the bug. So I think this well, closes up and uh, the, the, guys, I the thank time you doesn't that. matter because like we covered earlier, like it doesn't matter when this, this finding would have been released. All the previous transactions would have been affected to some degree by this issue and essentially he's he's saving people earlier by, by no degree, only messages only messages should, it should have done anonymization of messaging that, that so, would have so you don't think the Amount users should receiver, be warned techniques you, you, you wouldn't you wouldn't have warned the users users if you were in his position i would have used i would have not exaggerated i would have not gone after sensationalist titles to attract attention and to sow panic but you wouldn't warn the users as soon absolutely, as possible absolutely yes i would have warned the users yes i wouldn't that would have been quite acceptable if he had just warned the users and gone you know use the appropriate words but he went for full denonymization of the Darrow network that's unacceptable and that's irresponsible reckless and that's an attack on Darrow. so i don't know well you know it's it's going to be interesting now to see how much long because uh luke did message uh captain the ca dm captain on matrix on element it's going to be interesting to see now how much longer is it going to take for captain to respond is it going to be another two months um and the, another thing about you're saying that the title of uh of luke's research was uh what'd you say over exaggerated or misleading uh but but why is that because revealing the amounts potentially does de-anonymize the sender as well 
the amount of what? The amount of what? The amount of, amount of what? Of the transaction. It doesn't. Yes, so. It doesn't reveal the amounts of the balances of the. So, account. so it doesn't. It doesn't even reveal sender and receipt. Re, re, receipt in a normal he, coin transaction. Luke, Luke revealed the amount of your transaction ID. Correct. That's all. Yeah, That's he all said he could find the receiver. So, so and mine. being that now the amount is revealed, and Daryl uses ring signatures, couldn't yeah. you just look at the outputs and see which of no, the yeah. outputs in the yeah. ring matches the amount? No, you can't. You you don't. I think you have to study there. And there, are all balances are home, are encrypted, so you cannot look at any amounts. But Moreover, the amounts, you, you, you don't Luke even know just looked, what. Look, just provided you the amount. You can't. It doesn't. He did not provide the amount of. I told him that that's my transaction, but he doesn't know which one of those addresses is mine. And even if I give him the address, my address appears in endless other transactions. In most of them, it's just a decoy address. So you cannot do any of that. Like it's totally pointless. This he cannot de-anonymize anything. Zero. The only thing he could de-anonymize was the messages, and that that was okay to say de-anonymization of messages. But that's it. Anyway, guys, I have to go. Thank you. It was a pleasure talking to you all. Sorry if I sometimes got was too passionate, but as you know, like. I'm big on Daryl. Thank you all. Bye. See ya. You're definitely big on Daryl, man. Yeah, wow. that's for sure. Uh, Later, man. Thanks right. for uh, answering our questions and, and interacting with us. I hope he, I, I didn't, I didn't want him to leave. I wanted to ask about when you brought up the developers on the Daryl project, there was two of them. There was Captain and there was Slick, so S-L-I-X-E. S-L-I-X-E has, has their own blockchain called X-E-L-I-S, which was updated four days ago and has all the same uh it's basically Darrow but written in Rust. Hmm. So it doesn't seem oh, like yes. the developers are absent. They were active a couple days ago, so I don't know. Are are they basically claiming that Darrow was started by Thankful for today? Is that like one of their sounds like it. one of their claims? And that, that, that's not they haven't they he didn't say that, but it sounded like he was mad that that fluffy pony forked it away from somebody. Yeah, there was yeah, funny to listen on one those hand those the claim that are... on the one hand there was this claim that Darrow is protected against people quote unquote stealing their open their quote unquote open source code um because of the license, right? They they did the license and so the government made makes it so you can't steal their code. And then on the other hand, the license of Bitman Arrow made the code quote unquote stealable in a legal fashion. So it wasn't really theft, but he kept referring to it as theft. Like that's just a total contradiction and you know, in that position there.